Hi, everybody, and welcome to TWF uh, NXT. And today on TWF NXT, we have we have the commissioner Ernest P. Worrell here. Well, I can't even. He's so big, he can't even. Well, no, it's not going to work. Anyway, so today we're going to. So I want to say that I'm very happy with being commissioner for the third time. Now, a lot of people may not be so happy with that, and some people might be happy with it. And it comes to, yeah, let's just tell the actual truth about everything the way it's supposed to be. You see, when we rent, hold on, Bala, I'm going to tell you, Kevin Owen says, it's sad. We went through Survivor Series thinking we were going to get some better commissioner and saw or some better general manager we get lied to we get you ernest p worrell again seriously kevin owen said how many times do they want to put you in charge and i'll tell you belasca says this is the idiot that put this is this is a dummy to put in charge you know but you know it's all nepotism as far as uh as far as the owner and operator, Zena, is concerned, you know. I mean, everybody, all her friends, all her kin are pretty much in positions of power. Yeah, tell the truth, Kevin Owens said. Admit it. You not really, you should just nice and should be having this job in the first place. First off, Ernest P. War said, I assure you that nepotism had nothing to do with me getting this position. Number two, yes, I was commissioner on two different on two different occasions. But obviously, if you thought you were gonna get some heel commissioner, some faux commissioner, who was going to what? Punish the friends? Punish and award the foes, right? Punish the good doers, award the evil doers. No. Sorry to disappoint. And I really don't know how Astronomon, Ecliptor, and Godzilla and Algar actually thought that they would be in power. Nobody put them in power. They just assumed they were actually in power for some reason. And we're still trying to figure out why that happened. You know what, Belaska says? You are a joke i all those times i tried to kill your sister gabrielle that was great all those times i was gonna try i mean tell what i was gonna do try to murder your sister gabrielle i tried to murder your mother xena and i thought those are great too unfortunately i got a chance to take you out oh belaska you can't say you wanted to murder because that's premeditated and that would become a misdeed you know, but the truth is I wouldn't mind beating a shit out of you because let's face it, everyone who's ever been commissioner in that position did a bad job. Godzilla, you, Lord Zed, Sailor Moon, Godzilla, you again, Angel, then Feed Her Long and Diva Talks and Feed Her Long and Diva Talks, then, geez, I don't know. Then after that, it kind of, then after that, it then, you know, then it was four, then it was Aries, and it was Lord Zed again, and out, and then, it, well, then it was you again. Sorry to disappoint, right? How about, you don't like it here. I've got two words for you, and you ain't going to like, hold on, Ernest. I always told you Pee Wee Herman's the smarter one. Shut up, Pee Wee Herman said. I heard what you said about me. You didn't say any more smarter. Ernest, I know these guys are assholes, but let's face it. We got to do something. They want to talk how they're so great. Yeah, I'm great, Velasquez says. We can beat anybody, anytime. Yeah, me too, Kevin Owens said. Then fine. You get a match. You two tag up. And if you can beat your opponent, you together... Then you can claim how great you are. You're gonna prove you can beat your opponent. Well, 
Well, I just want to say how sad that is, is that Belaska and Kevin Owens have no respect for it, no unlook for anybody. They certainly don't. And who is Belaska and Kevin Owens going to, uh, to fight? Uh-oh. It's Braun Strowman. That's who they're going to, uh, not, not this guy again. Yeah. Get the referee in there now. This is not fair to Jackal says. Well, Kevin Owens of Alaska said they could beat anybody. So why not have them both have to face Braun Strowman then? And now Braun Strowman now in the ring now. And he said they can beat any. He said they can beat him. Look out, Kevin Owens just. He's got chuck slammed by, by Braun Strowman. And same thing for Belaska. Well, Trini Kwan said you don't give the commissioner and general manager unlook. This is what happens. Oh, a body slam. Oh, really? The Jackal says? Who said you had to give people unlook? Well, you assume the commissioner and the general manager, you assume that they would get unlook. They didn't have to earn it, though. And apparently, this is it. Kevin Owens has had enough. He's up. He's on it. He's. Cannonball, he just tried to cannonball Braun Strowman, and Braun Strowman just knocked him right back down. Now, Velasquez is going to try to cannonball Braun Strowman, too, and it didn't work. But wait a minute, Dot said Kevin Owens had enough. He's known when he's known he's had, he's had enough at this point. He's getting out of the ring, though. The referee's beginning to count here. One, two, wait a minute. Velasca just rolled him up. And now, wait, what's all this going on? One, two, three. Ding, ding, ding. Here is your winners. Kevin Owens and Velasca. Oh, I like that, the Jackal says. Oh. But now Velasca and Kevin Owens are now going to pun it, are going to get, are now going to pay for their their besmirchment of uh, Braun Strowman. Oh! And I don't think Braun Strowman is happy with how he got treated or how they ruled him up and beat him. And now we're, I guess now we're going to go back to the commissioner, Ernest P. Worrell and general manager, Pee Wee Herman here. Well, I sure uh, hope, Pee Wee, you, you have everything under control. Well, I sure do, Ernest. I, well, I do have everything under control. You don't have to worry about Belasca or Kevin Owens. Well, if that's okay, then I'm going to be leaving now. All right. And Belasca and Kevin Owens are not happy about... How they got treated, though. How they were not unlooked. Well, if you don't want to give people unlooked, then you don't get unlooked either. That's how it goes. Well, I understand that we're... Oh. Okay, we got... Oh, come on. Oh. And now we have Brock Lesnar and Paulie Dangerously here. Ladies and gentlemen, I am the overseer for Brock Lesnar. And I'm here to say that I was completely, did not get any unlook from Oscar. And I certainly did not appreciate being put in the Oscar lock. I am an overseer. Brock Lesnar said he had unlook for Oscar. I said I had unlook for Oscar. You know, 
all the way up until she put the Oscar lock on me. And I tell you, Oscar, it's easy to put a, a to put the put a move on someone who's not a wrestler, of course. But it's a whole another story to put it on someone who is. Oh yeah. Paul, you're right. Oscar, you can't be going around putting your hands on my overseer and friend, Paulie, dangerously. That's what cowards do. And people want to say all kinds of shit they want to say about me. Let them. They want to criticize me for stuff that's perfectly fine. I can accept it and I take it. I accept all challenges regardless of how big or how small they are. But I will not expect you to do what you did to my friend. I'm going to take the belt from you. I'm going to give you the F5. And that's going to be the end of it. Your undefeated streak, it's going to be done. Now, you should have, you did not think before you attacked my friend, Polly Dangerously. Because once you did that, it was over. You start something you can't win. Brock, we all know. We all know that uh, Oscar can't win this fight. She knows she can't win this fight. That's why she attacked me. Yeah, well, you know, people want to take shortcuts. People want to say stuff about me, but at least I never took any shortcuts. So, Oscar, if you're watching, if you're listening, my charge, Brock Lesnar will destroy you and he will become the TWF world heavyweight the TWF heavyweight champion again. He will oh Oscar just nailed Brock Lesnar from behind. Oscar Lock. The Oscar Lock's on Brock Lesnar. Brock Lesnar got the Oscar Lock on him. She put him down. What what do you want? Paulie dangerously son. You tell your client, no one ready for Oscar. Wait a minute. Brock Lesnar came back up. He knocked Oscar down. He's got her in the F, F, yeah, the F5. Go on, Brock, get her. Oh, she just took him down with, she just took him down with the Oscar, with the Oscar, with the Oscar kick. Now she got him in the Oscar lock again. She's got him in the Oscar lock again. I will take down Brock Lesnar. And if you get my way, I take you down again too. Well, Oscar took down Brock Lesnar with the Oscar lock, but we saw Brock Lesnar nail her with, we saw Brock Lesnar nail her with the F5, or at least the close, the closest I can get to it. You know, or at least, you know, or at least the closest I can get to it. Uh, with the action figure. Well, looks like that's all the time we got here for TWF NXT. We hope you enjoy TWF NXT and uh, for Dwayne. Oh, the Jackal says, I trust you. Oscar is going to lose to Brock Lesnar. Are you crazy, Jackal? Did you see what Oscar did to Brock Lesnar? She put him in the Oscar lock twice. And she took him down. So how is he going to defeat her? I know he's going. I know she. I know. He, I know she put him in the Oscar lock. But I know Brock Lesnar is going to defeat her. Oh, you don't know that. That's just your win. You know you have probably got to be holding over how you think the victory is going to be done. But in react, but that's all. Yeah, in my beholding, I know that Brock Lesnar is going to beat her. Okay, and my win, he's going to beat her, and that's the end of that. Well, it looks like that's all the time we got here for, you know, you know, we got here for, you know, for TWF, uh, 
you know, NXT. We hope you enjoy TWF NXT. And we'll see you for the Jackal, for Trini Kwan. We'll see you tomorrow for TWF uh, Impact. Goodbye.